All right, what's up guys? My name is Dr. Peter Rath, uh, soft tissue expert, sports injury specialist, and resident chiropractic physician here at House of Power. Today, we have a very special guest with us. His name is Cody. He plays football, an offensive lineman, the center for the LA Kiss, and he's here with us today just to kind of address some of uh, the aches and pains that he's been having uh, during games. Cody, you've been having some lower back pain, some upper back pain? Yeah, lower to uh, mid, it just starts to tighten up during the game, like mid game. And okay. I was going to roll out at halftime. And... Gotcha. Uh, worse with contact or just even without? No, I just throughout the game. Throughout the game, yeah. totally? Okay. No numbness, tingling, or anything like that? No. Okay. Uh, sounds like it's a pretty straightforward mechanical lower back pain. So what we're going to go ahead and do right now is we're going to go ahead and do a preliminary assessment, probably get some adjustments in there, and then we'll talk about some exercises he can do so that we don't have to adjust him or stretch him all the time so that he actually stays out of pain, okay? So Cody, what I'm going to have you do is you're going to go ahead and lay face down right here for me. And for everybody watching right now, uh, you know, chiropractic is really different and it's really special. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to assess the spine, see where this discomfort is coming from. So Cody, I'm going to put some pressure in some different places right over here. Uh, a, B, C, you tell me it hurts, doesn't hurt, which side is worse, okay? First, the right side. No pressure, no. good. Here. Uh, a little bit, where you feel that, right where my hand is? Like, yeah. Uh, okay, and how about right here? Right, uh, right there, especially, which was worse, A or, or B? B. B, okay. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring your foot up, okay? Just let me know if there's any discomfort, even pressure that's uncomfortable, okay? First without good. support, good. There, good. Good, here. Good. Good, here. A uh, little bit, that's it. Where do you feel that? Right down the middle or over this here? Side over this side over here? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this side. I know you got some MCL stuff going on yeah. here, so. Uh, can you flex the knee? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know about pushing too much. Okay, tell me when to stop. That's good. That's good? Okay. How about over here? Nice and easy. Good. That's fine? Okay. Yeah. We won't mess with that, okay? Let's check one more time. Now we're checking relative motion. I'm looking for any restrictions in this pelvis, okay? Now, adjustments are great. They'll help them get out of pain. They'll help the spasms stop and things like that. But if we don't address the soft tissue, if we don't address the movement aspect of it, why he's actually getting locked up, he's gonna be coming in week after week after week after week. Which is why what I do is really special because we address the movement, we address the soft tissue, we address the adjustments so that he can just go out and play football. He doesn't have to worry about me unless he has a serious issue. Okay, so Cody, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you lay on your side facing me. We're gonna open up this side for you. Hopefully that gives you some relief, okay? Scoot towards me, perfect. Now this is gonna be, this should be fine because this is the affected knee, okay? So I'm gonna tuck this back here. Put my hand here for the bony line mark. I'm gonna move it until the bone moves, good, right there. I'm gonna lock you in. I'm gonna pull this arm, let the shoulder fall back for me, okay? And take that hand, right here, and right here. I got you locked in. You go where I, where I put you, okay? Um, just as much as you can, relax. Now with adjustments, folks, a lot of people think that they're painful or, or, or things like that, but the more that you relax, the more comfortable it is and the more relief that you're gonna get, okay? So, Cody, take a deep breath for me and just let everything go. Good, I got you. Boom, that's all it takes. That's all it takes, you felt that? <laughs> <laughs> I felt my whole back right. is great. <laughs> okay, take your, take your time, slow down, okay. nice and easy, okay? Turn over for me. We want slow movements because we just we just reset the circuit breaker for your low back. You probably felt everything open up, right? Everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So slide towards me one more time. This side I'm gonna take extra care of. I don't really want to flex this knee too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the legs, okay? Okay. That way we can protect your knee. Good. Let that drop. I got gotcha. you. Deep breath. Exhale. I got gotcha. you. Let it go. That's it. Good. Okay, lay on your back. Oh, that's funny. So that addresses the adjustment. The adjustment is just like just hitting that circuit breaker in the body, okay? We flip the switch, everything starts all over again. But now, we address component number two. Component number two is the soft tissue aspect. I want to stretch you so that we can get rid of that pain, spasm, pain response, that negative feedback loop. And the adjustment was the first part of it. The soft tissue is the next. So, basically I'm going to hit the hamstring real quick. Okay, now one little subtlety here. If I passively stretch, it doesn't involve the brain. So you don't have to pull a lot, 
but I want you to pull towards your head as I stretch. Because now, we're telling the brain with the stretching, hey, we have new range of motion to go along with that adjustment. Does that make sense? Yeah. Stuff like this, when you stretch, actually involving your brain and getting the muscles working for you, will make the stretching last longer, will make the adjustments last longer. Does that make sense? Yeah. And if we can stabilize it with complementary movements, even better. Better results, less pain in between, okay? Good, just breathe in through the nose. We want to breathe from the belly, out through the mouth. Good, three, two, one. The next one, this one's gonna be like your running stretch for you for that low back. That feels good, huh? Yeah. yeah. Where do you feel that right now? Right down here. All through the glutes? Yeah. yeah. Most of the time, folks, a lot of that back pain is not coming from the back. A lot of that pain is referred pain from the glutes especially if you sit down a lot, other than when you're playing football, mm -hmm. or you're sitting around a lot, driving yeah. a lot, okay? It's no coincidence, you know, we didn't script this, so he falls into the same category as 99% of you out there, okay? So if you're having that low back pain, check out those glutes, okay? Two, one, relax. This side, I'm gonna leave alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the MCL, okay? Yeah. But, land your side one more time. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of active release to open up some of this glute tissue right here. You can bend this bottom knee for some stability. Okay, good. I'm gonna grab right through here, put his hip into extension, get right in the glute med, get some pretension, flex that knee, and just let the foot drop, and it's already tightening up. So as I push up through here, yeah, you like that, huh? Yeah. Breathe. Now again, mind-body connection. We want his body to stay open after I open him up. So what I'm gonna have him do is active release, not passive release. Flare that knee out towards me a little bit. There you go, and hold that for 10 seconds. Two and one, relax. We're gonna do it again. Tender right there. Yeah? Okay. So what we're doing was we're putting the hip into flexion, okay? We're bringing it up towards his chest. But I'm also, if you watch my foot right over here, I've got him going into external rotation, okay? That way, it really accentuates what I'm pulling down over on this side. I'm taking a double grip over here, okay? Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Very good. One more. Breath. Exhale. Notice how I'm having him really focus on his breathing. Breathing is really important while you stretch, folks. If you don't breathe from the diaphragm, your body's not relaxing, okay? When you exhale, we're taking advantage of that peripheral and that uh, parasympathetic nervous system, okay? He exhales, everything starts to slip, 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 and start to let go. Good. Let's take care of the upper back real quick. Let's have you go face down, okay, Cody? Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on Cody's mid and upper back right through here. Okay, he's got some tension that's built up. And the way that we assess is we're checking relative motion as I walk up and down his spine. I'm feeling for what's tight. I'm kind of getting a sense of which muscles are really bound up. And we're checking the relative motion. Does this joint move nicely against the joint below? How about above, okay? And usually what we find is, it's tight there, right? Yeah. It's fine, 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 fine. Ugh. If I push through here, I'm gonna blow my shoulder out. This guy's like twice my size. And what he's feeling is everything from here to up here moves as one continuous unit. Your spine hates that, okay? So what we're gonna do, Cody. So first deep breath, I'm just gonna follow you down with some gentle pressure. The second one, you're gonna let it out, and I'm gonna just kind of push right through, okay? Deep breath, all the way out, very good. One more time. This time I'm gonna push through. And number two, let it go, let it go. And one more time. Oh, yeah. Let's get a little bit higher, good. Two, one more breath. Exhale. You're bigger than me, so I'm gonna drop. Boom, that's it. Oh, yeah. Get some rotation in there. 
make sure everything's moving. Get this little stretch on those erectors. our work. Spring, spring, and now we got a little bit of movement in there, guys. Okay. Now again, this is one piece of the puzzle. We gotta follow this up with some movement. Okay. Just real quickly, um, you know, things like cat camel, bird dog, thoracic extension and rotation. Those are the types of movements that we wanna, you know, teach the brain that he still has range of motion in his upper and lower back. Maybe some glute bridges, some pelvic tilts, and things like that too. Okay. So make sure that you athletes out there understand it's not just about the adjustment, it's not just about the soft tissue, it's not just about the movement. The key is bringing them all together for your benefit so that you can stay on the field, so that you can do what you do best, okay? All right, guys, we're all set. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, man, yeah.